development of face and here in this model you can see the pharyngeal arches between the developing head and developing pericardium or you can say the developing brain so it is the region of the neck where you will find the pharyngeal arches this structure is showing you the pharyngeal arches now coming to the development of face face develops from frontonasal prominence that frontonasal prominence grows a hook like projection and in that hook like projection there is formation of uh, nasal placode on either side this is another stage next stage after the nasal placode has been formed now this nasal placode undergoes um, transformation in the form of a depression that is known as nasal pit this depression you can see is the nasal pit and when the nasal pit is formed on either sides you will be able to appreciate a heaped up tissue that tissue has been divided into a medial part and the lateral part again it is a paired thing so this medial part is known as medial nasal prominence and the lateral one is known as the lateral nasal prominence now this medial nasal prominence grows downwards fuses with each other because of the growth of the maxillary prominences on each side right here you can see that this is the lens placode that is responsible for the development of eye initially it is present laterally but as the development proceeds it comes in front right and then there is mandibular prominence maxillary prominence is responsible for the formation of um part of the palate that is secondary palate through the palatine shelves which are developing medial uh, to the uh, like medially they develop on each side of the maxillary prominences and the mandibular prominence is responsible for the formation of lower lip and lower jaw now these medial nasal prominences they come together in the midline grow downwards and they are compressed by the maxillary prominences growth towards the medial side because of this growth the medial nasal prominences they fuse and are responsible for the formation of the crest and tip of nose along with the philtrum of the upper lip lateral nasal prominences initially do not contribute to the formation of face but between the lateral nasal prominences and the maxillary prominences there is a groove that is known as the nasolacrimal groove it converts in the, into the nasolacrimal duct which has got cranial opening and the caudal opening the cranial opening is in the medial canthus of the eye and the caudal opening is in the inferior meatus of nose and finally this groove and duct is formed which is further covered by the growth of the lateral nasal prominence and the maxillary prominences thereby bridging the defect of the nasolacrimal duct lateral nasal prominences are responsible for the formation of ala of nose now these maxillary prominences they grow towards the midline and philtrum of the upper lip is formed by the medial nasal prominences whereas the lateral part of each side of lip is formed by the medial nasal prominences so upper lip basically is contributed by median segment that is the philtrum which is by the medial nasal prominences and lateral part of the lip on each side is by the maxillary prominences lower lip as such is formed by the mandibular prominences as well as the lower jaw is formed by the mandibular prominences so this is another model showing you the development here you can see the lens placode has come in front so is developing nose from the medial nasal prominence bridge of the nose is formed by the frontonasal prominence then there is uh, lip and these you can say are the man uh, pharyngeal arches again this is also a similar thing frontonasal prominence and then the nose this is the maxillary prominence and the mandibular prominence so this is how the face develops thank you